Hi guys, in this video I'll be discussing genes and phenotypes, alleles, dominant and recessive alleles, and finally a summary. The reason we look similar to our mother or our father is that we inherit characteristics from our parents, and this happens because we inherit their genes. Genes are defined as sections of DNA that code for a specific protein. The DNA in our body contains lots of genes. These genes carry instructions, and they tell your body how to make a specific protein, in this case, haemoglobin. Each different gene in our body controls different characteristics. These characteristics, like hair and eye color, are called phenotypes. For instance, having brown hair would be a phenotype. Having blue eyes would also be another phenotype. However, normally it's not so simple. Most characteristics are controlled by multiple genes interacting. A characteristic like height involves many genes interacting together. However, some characteristics are coded by a single gene, and this includes red-green colour blindness. In people with red-green colour blindness, they have a single gene that makes them unable to tell the difference between the colours red and green. As well as having different genes that code for different proteins, our bodies also have different variants of the same genes. These are called alleles. Alleles code for different proteins. This determines what characteristics or phenotypes you have. For instance, if a plant inherits a particular allele, it might have a broad leaf. If a plant inherits another allele, it might have spikes or spiny leaves. So how do you inherit these alleles? Well, gametes have one allele for each gene. Normal body cells have two. In normal body cells, chromosomes are paired, and there's one allele on each chromosome. These alleles are in the same position in the chromosome. We have one allele from each parent, as we inherit one chromosome from the mother, and one chromosome from the father. For example, this chromosome and the allele it has might be inherited from the father, and this chromosome might be inherited from the mother. So this means you get one allele from the mother and one from the father. There are also some terms related to alleles that you need to know. Individuals are said to be heterozygous when they have two different alleles for the same gene. Homozygous individuals have two of the same alleles. Alleles are actually represented by letters. For example, the allele for a single gene, such as eye colour, could be represented by the letter B. The genotype is the combination of alleles you have. For instance, another individual might have another allele coding for the same gene, represented by the letter B. These alleles could combine during fertilisation. And as you inherit one allele from the mother and one allele from the father, this would result in the genotype BB. It's not as simple as this, as alleles can either be dominant or recessive. The recessive allele only controls the characteristic if there's two of them at once. These are represented by a lowercase letter. So a lowercase b would represent a recessive allele. And if you have two of them, the characteristic they control is expressed. Because there are two of the same kind, we say they're homozygous for this characteristic. They're also dominant alleles, and these are represented by a capital letter. For instance, the allele lowercase b codes for blue eyes, and you can tell that this allele is recessive as it's shown as lowercase. And the allele capital B codes for brown eyes. You can tell it's dominant as it's represented by a capital B. This means you only have blue eyes if you inherit two copies of the lowercase b allele from your parents. You inherit two copies of the recessive allele. If you inherit a dominant allele, it controls the characteristic even if there's only one present. For instance, if you have the genotype big B, big B, or big B, little b, the characteristic is expressed. This is because the dominant allele overrules the recessive allele if the organism is heterozygous. So even though this zygous individual inherits a lowercase b or recessive allele, the characteristic is still expressed as it has a capital letter B, representing a dominant allele. This means if you inherit an allele for brown eye colour from either or both of your parents, you will have brown eyes. This means if you have the genotype big B, big B, or big B, little b, you'll have brown eyes as you'll inherit a dominant allele. 
Now let's look at some dominant human characteristics. Well, one of them is the ability to roll your tongue, having freckles and having dark hair. Some recessive human characteristics include not being able to roll your tongue and blonde hair. This means in order to have blonde hair, you have to inherit both the alleles coding for this characteristic from your parents. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're looking for an amazing GCC biology and combined science resource, join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the snap revised smiley face and together let's make biology at GCSE a walk in the park.